we have an algebraic expression, negative x squared minus 2x plus 3, and we need to evaluate this expression if x is negative 3 over 5. First, we're just going to replace the expression with an identical expression, only replacing the variables with little pairs of parentheses. And then when that's done, we're just going to copy the values into the parentheses. And now the problem is reduced to an order of operations problem. This minus here can be interpreted as a multiplication, so the exponentiation is the strongest one, right? We have multiplication by negative one, exponentiation, subtraction, multiplication, and an addition. So the strongest one is uh, squaring negative three over five. Negative three over five squared is negative three over five times negative three over five, and top by top, bottom by bottom, will give us 9 over 25. So negative 9 over 25. Right, we had this conversation, like, you might be tempted to cancel out these two minus signs, but this one represents two of them because of the squaring. So really, there are three of them, which is why we land on a negative value. Now, the minus was carried, so now we, we do the multiplication 2 times negative 3 over 5. 2 is the same as 2 over 1. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, uh, 1 times 5 is 5, so we are subtracting negative 6 over 5, and then add, add the 3. Okay, so now it's addition, subtraction, left to right. So we have negative 9 over 25, and maybe it would be wasteful to write a whole line for just making these two minuses into 1 plus, to subtract is still to add the opposite, but maybe we could also work on the common denominator. Right, we, we're going to have to match 25, so we can multiply both upstairs and downstairs by 5, then we get 30 over 25. Now, maybe these two cancel out and become nice, but we can actually prepare for the worst and bring 3 to the common denominator as well. 3 is the same as 3 over 1, and then for a denominator of 25 means we have to multiply both upstairs and downstairs by 25, and 3 times 25 is 75. All right. This is not an order of operations problem, so you don't have to have a separate line for every step, but you shouldn't go faster than it is safe either. We have the common denominator, which is 25, and in the numerator we're adding negative 90 plus 30 plus 75. It doesn't matter what order we add, so 30 plus 75 is 105, subtract 9 is 96. We think this is the un answer, we should consider maybe it can be simplified. The denominator has the one prime factor in the denominator is 5. The numerator is not divisible by 5, so that's it. This expression is simplified. Even though it's an improper fraction, we do not have to go into two mixed numbers. So this is the correct answer. Thank you for watching.